Hi and welcome back to Learn Python by Doing number six. Today we're going to learn about one of the most useful functions, not only in Python, but in all programming languages that support the map function. So basically, the map function is an enhanced for loop because it applies a given function to each item of an iterable. So remember, iterables right now are lists, dictionaries, tuples, strings, etc. It returns a map object, which is an iterator, and you should use it instead of loops whenever you can. Let's see how the map function works with an example. So, suppose we have our fruits list, Okay, so we have defined the fruits list. And now suppose we want to capitalize each string inside the list. So we're going to create an empty list called uh, result. And how will you do this? Well, we can use a for loop and say for fruit in fruits result dot append fruit dot capitalize so this method here as the name suggests capitalizes uh, the words the first uh, character of a word and let's print the result okay so the result is as expected and this took four lines of code we can do the same with only two lines of code so let's say result is equal to map and the first argument of the map function is the function that you want to apply to each item of the iterable. In this case, we can pass a regular function, those that are defined with the def keyword, or we can simply pass a lambda function. So that's why lambda functions are important. We can say lambda fruit, uh, fruit that capitalize and the second argument will be the iterable in this case fruits so let's see what is the result it's a map object remember uh, this map object is an iterator so we can call this magic method called next to iterate through each element of the iterator so we call next, this is the first element, which is the same as this one, watermelon, which is the same as this one, pineapple, which is the same as this one, and grapes, which is the same as this one. And if we call the next method again, then a stop iteration exception is raised, because remember, we can iterate through an iterator only once. Okay, so, we can also create a list out of this iterator and the result will be exactly the same. Okay, so we have used here a Lambda function, but suppose we want to make some mm, complex uh, processing to each of these string. So we can define our own function let's say it's called process and it's going to take as an argument fruit and let's say the resulting string is going to be fruit dot capitalize and then we're going to say if the fruit ends with an s then append or concatenate this sentence here are great else concatenate this string here is great and finally return the resulting string okay so what am i doing here first i'm capitalizing the fruit so the same as what we did with the lambda function and then we are uh, saying 
if the fruit ends with an S, that means if we are talking about plural, then concatenate this string here. So for example, grapes ends with an S, so it's going to show grapes are great, because grapes is great sounds weird. But for apple, well, it doesn't sound weird. Apple is great. And let's see, we have to replace our lambda function with our process function. So we simply replace it, and there is our, our result. Apple is great, watermelon is great, pineapple is great, and grapes are great because grapes ends with an S. So that's the power of the map function. It's very, very useful. I use it all the time. And I recommend you to, each time you see a for loop, think if you can replace it with a map function. Okay, so one last thing I want to say is that we can also see this in action using JavaScript. So if you're interested in learning a little bit of JavaScript, stay in the video. And if not, then just pass to the next video. So for those of you who stayed, let's copy this list and in JavaScript, it will be called an array. So it's now our fruits array. Okay, so the result will be fruits.map and it will take the fruit. And here we're going to say fruit char at zero to uppercase plus fruit dot slice from one until the end. Uh, sorry, I misspelled fruit fruits. Okay. And as you can see, it's exactly the same result. Apple, watermelon, pineapple, and grapes capitalized. So I hope you like this video. See you in the next one.